what's up y'all so today i'm gonna go try and see if i can use this nacs adapter at my local tesla supercharger all right i've seen people doubt that you can actually use these i've seen people say that it's so hard to charge evs there's no place to charge them let's see if this works let's see if this was worth the money that i paid for this to be included into my equinox here all right so let's get ready to go over there but first i want to remind you all let me walk over here i want to remind you all that for the most part i charge here from home there's my there's my charger i have a a, a rack that's coming tomorrow i'll put it right here right right next to the charger but i charge from here most of the time like 99 percent of the time i charge right here from home all right get the cord plug it in right here and i'm charging from home but i am going to go right now to the local tesla supercharger and I'm gonna see if this works. Let's go. So if I go into the My GM app or the My Chevrolet app here, as you can see right there, My Chevrolet, I go into this app and it should tell me, there's the car. I decided on naming her Knox. We call her Noxie. But anyway, you go in here and then you go to where do you go charge management all right and you see my percentage right there i got 57 percent battery left and you can see here how many miles i got left same same thing here all right now let me see find station you hit find station all right if you can see that it says, let me see if I can get it in focus, nearest supported charging station, Tesla supercharger and Converse, all right? So I'm gonna go there, let's see if it comes up. All right, you see that right there? Eight out of 12 ports available. So that's where I'm gonna go. Let's see if I can get this NACS adapter to work there. here we are pulling up i was hoping it was going to be empty by the time i got here because it's always going to be weird seeing tesla here like the tesla guys are going to see me pulling up so there's a bunch of different teslas here let me see how i'm going to do this all right here goes the moment of truth we're here at the tesla supercharger all right i'm gonna get out i'm gonna see if this works so i got my adapter here let me take this out put that there I'll take this down and then I'll plug that into this and then i'm gonna plug it up and now let's see if that works The blue light is on. We take this off. 
the blue light came on there if you all can see that so maybe i need to go into the app <clears throat> oh okay i know what i did i know what i did i have my car set to start charging <clears throat> delayed for when i'm at home i forgot about that part i did this when i was at the mall just just last week so i have it right now um set so that uh oh red man red man's rapping red man's rapping let me turn that off all right so i gotta change the charge setting um let me go here and charging because i have it set to charge later charge right now all right so we should we should be good to go charge cord connected charging now i had it at that let me see if it's gonna switch unable to do that charge right now charge the 80 percent and then let me get out turn the car back off it does look like it's already um charging So you see the charge in there. It looks like we're good to go. Charge cords connected. Oh, it says your vehicle will charge immediately when plugged in. And then is it actually going? Let me look at the light up here. The light is showing as blue right now. So let me take it out. And then I'm gonna put it back in. Cause I had the settings wrong. So it's still showing as blue right now. So let me see why I am getting blue <coughs> instead of the red, I mean the green. Okay, so I'm goofy. I didn't know that I had to go into the actual app and, and tap charge here. So that's my bad. But as you can see, it's charging right here now. I was at 190 before, now it's at 194 as you can see it just went up fast charging i'm connected it's gonna be it says it's gonna be ready in 20 minutes fast charging at the tesla supercharger people don't walk by it says on the app that it didn't connect but it is this is 1a i'm in spot 1a and as you can see the miles are going up right now you can see you saw it was at 190 originally. We've gone up. And this is how fast it's charging. All right. And then if I was to hit stop charge right there, then my session would end. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's working, 197. People are looking at me like, what is this guy doing? But I'm out here charging, man. It's working. Tesla supercharger. I'm not in anybody's way, but as you can see right here, we're plugged in. That's green right there. So that means that it is charging right there. Everything is successful. That is the NACS adapter. And this is your Tesla charger. And that's coming from right here. All right. And it's working perfectly fine. I'm gonna actually charge for a minute and then I'm gonna get on up out of here. Okay, so it definitely works. The NACS adapter definitely works. Let me try to get out this light. It definitely works. What I was doing wrong initially is you gotta go through the app. You have to go through the My Chevrolet app to get it to start, which I wasn't doing. I just plugged it in. I was expecting it to start charging. That's on me, I'm goofy. But once you get there, you go to the app or whatever, 
and it right now like it's showing that it's charging if you can see it's showing that it's charging it's showing that it's charging here as well all right it's going to be completely done in 15 minutes and that's showing you what it's going to be at when it stops charging 80 percent 272 this is where it's at right now no lie it is coming from this charger as you can see back there there are other teslas here i'm the only non-tesla here right now but yes this is working from the tesla super charger all right so let me see if you go right there you see it says nearest tesla supercharger and they're saying charge here even though i am this is what i was supposed to do and i didn't do that so it's gonna bring it up and then um let me see if it does it it's still showing that it's charging right there you have to bring that up it probably won't do it out here not sure why but you bring that up and then it asks you some questions and then you have to you know you charge from there you do your thing all right yeah so you see right there it says charge here you hit charge here and then you're supposed to go in to put ever whatever uh charger that you're at this was what i was not doing all right so i'm at 1a you see 1a in use and it tells you you know what kind of charger it is dc fast charger or whatever so it tells you but everything's working everything works as it's supposed to you can charge your chevy equinox with the nacs adapter i got a few weird looks initially like what are you doing dude you can't you can't do nothing here but yes yes you can i'm i am charging my chevrolet equinox right here so it works man well worth it i charge from home most of the time so i'm not gonna need to go to a public charger and and do this so often but there are gonna be times that say i'm out and about i go to austin or i go you know somewhere far away i'm like man let me top up real quick i have an adapter that i can plug into the tesla charger and I'll be good to go and I'm not gonna have to worry about it no more. There used to be times when I used to live in the previous city where I would go to the outlet mall or whatever. And when I would get there, you know, we get stop at Bucky's and I couldn't charge because I had a Chevy Bolt and I didn't have the correct adapter. So I would have to go around to the mall there and they had the, you know, like the shell chargers that you can use for free for uh the regular adapters so uh the regular chargers i mean so it's good to see this works uh oh here comes a here comes a cyber truck let's get the cyber truck about to come in i just saw it hit the corner cyber truck needs a charge it's coming let me put the camera down look there go the cyber there go the cyber truck right there coming on in the x beast is what it says on the front okay i see you cyber truck i see you. i see you. i like it i like the cyber truck when it's in different colors i think it looks nice when it's in like a a black or a, you know the 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 wraps that they put on the cyber trucks i think it looks nice like that but I just wanted to make this video and show you all that it actually works. So more content is on the way. Thank you all for watching and I'll holler at you all in the next video. Peace.